so we can have a look at the pipe routes functionality. Okay, so under graphical, you've got define pipe route, uh, which allows you to select um, a start node and your end node. And then you can, if there's multiple variations to that route, you can select uh, a different um, route, just like with your GPS. So routing point or via point. Okay, and then you can accept, right click accept, and then give your route a name. I'm just gonna use the route one, and then I'll define another one at the bottom here. I'm gonna start at the bottom right, node, and then I'll just move around to the left over here just to show you. So once again, select the start and the end node, and then I won't put in any via points. I'm just accepting and I'll call that route number two. Okay, so right click quit. Okay, one of the big advantages of using the pipe routes is being able to display your route changes. Um, those can be activated um, or switched on and off in the display settings. So display settings, um, you've got a separate pipe routes um, page that you can go and set your change interval for example I'll just make it it's defaulted to 10 I'll make it every 20 meters you can have the changes displaying uh, when the route is active as in being used in the vertical alignment or when you set it up as being the active in your pipe route settings you can also set your alignment points visible you right click there's a couple of options there your PI label your changes um, you can set a specific offset for those PI labels for example so those are fully customizable okay so just to show you um, how that current uh, or active will be set on the pipe routes if I go to tools vertical alignment you can see over there at the top right, um, you can select which route you want to work on. So if I make route one, the active route uh, in my vertical alignment, for example, then that would then change the activeness of that route um, in the actual model. Okay, and then another place that you can set your routes visibility or activeness is under the settings, pipe route settings. So all your defined pipe routes would be displayed in this dialog. I can select route two, for example, and then click on the show button, and then it'll zoom into that area. You've also got some auto label settings. In this dialog, you could set your uh, labeling for your alignment points, your pipes, and your nodes. You've got options to display the routes, the PI numbers, the vertical horizontal angles, and then for the pipes, the route number or the pipe number. If you right click, it gives you those various go fetch options in the curly brackets. And then for the nodes, similarly, the route or the node number or a combination of the two.